How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bring you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got another one from Sometimes You called Terminal 81, and you're looking at 10 bucks on the PlayStation Store with six total stacks. This is a genuinely fun mystery psychological horror job sim based around a fictional neighborhood in Sao Paulo, Brazil in 2008 during the financial crisis. Calling this a labor of love is an understatement. This game took me somewhere around five or six hours to get the platinum in, and you can definitely cut that down if you're going for an optimal playthrough, but I honestly recommend going at your own pace, figuring everything out, while making sure you don't miss any trophies. Speaking of, that's how I'm going to go about this guide. It's not a full walkthrough of the entire game, essentially just the trophies, but I'll leave timestamps down below sorted by the order in which you can get them over the six days you play. So when you arrive, you'll be greeted inside your apartment by your landlord, and all you can do is go to sleep. We'll call this day zero. Once you wake up, you can head outside and explore. Head over to your left from the bus stop. You'll run into a group of people around some cops with a billboard behind them. Interact twice with the part that says sus for your first trophy, Among Us. Keep heading that way, and eventually you'll find a fenced-in court. Head inside to find a kid who wants you to get his soccer ball back from the spooky old abandoned church. Agree to help, then head out the back door of the court, hop over the broken wall, and head left into the alley. Exit out into the street and head right, following the street until you hit the next walled-in alley. Head straight down, turning left once it opens up. You'll find the ball by one of the pillars near the entrance to the church. Pick it up, backtrack to the kid, equip the ball, and hand it over for a nice payday and the sports supporter trophy. Head back out onto the street and continue the way you were originally going. You'll eventually run into the police station at the corner and head inside. On the corner of the front desk is a magazine. Go ahead and interact with it a few times for your next trophy, Suspicious Activities. Head back onto the street, continuing where you left off. You'll pass the closed fair to your left and some condominiums on your right, and eventually you'll end up at the fenced-in park. Follow the red path to the other entrance, and you'll find a guy looking for you to help clean up the place, picking up bottles. There's ten in total hidden around the park, but you can only carry four at a time. Once you've got four, head back to the recycle bins near where you picked up the quest, equip each bottle, and press triangle to throw them away. Once you've done that with all 10, head back to the guy and interact with him for another payday and the Great Environmentalist Trophy. Get back onto the street and continue heading the same way you've been going. Terminal 81 is just a big circle, so this street eventually loops back around to the bus stop where you started. Off to your left will be the supermarket, so go ahead and head inside to start your day. Once you're inside, off to the right, you'll see an employee of the month sign with a capybara on it. Interact with it a few times to get the employee of the month trophy. Once you've got that, head into the door marked manager and speak with Enrique. This will unlock your ability to work there. Once you're done with him, head back to the checkout area to learn how to work. What you want to do for this first day, however, is absolutely nothing. You'll get paid no matter what. Just stand there, letting thieves steal from the place, customers leave, etc., and eventually you'll unlock the future Employee of the Month trophy. 
As you go through your work day, you'll have a few people come up and want to talk to you. You'll have this Argentinian guy who's looking for any information about his missing sister, Matilda. Your choices don't matter with him, so you can pick whatever you want. You'll find that this kind of thing will happen every day at the supermarket with someone pulling you away from your job to talk to you about something going on in the area. Once your job is done at the supermarket, you'll head out the back. Outside, directly to the left, you'll find an important character, Daniel. Your choices do matter here, as you have to be as nice to Daniel as you can, so just pick the left choices when talking to him. From there, head across the parking lot towards the street, and there you'll find this woman in a red dress smoking under a street light. This is Maria, and the other very important character for our trophies. Be as nice as you can with her, and when she asks for 20 bucks, go ahead and give it to her. You'll unlock the A Generous Person trophy, as well as furthering her storyline later in the game. Continue heading down the street back towards where you started, and you'll eventually have a little strip mall to your left with an Asian restaurant, pizza place, and general store. Head into the restaurant and head towards the back right to where there's a TV. Interact with it a few times to unlock the You Know the Rules trophy. Now, I'm going to make a quick note about the next two trophies. As far as I can tell, they're both random whether they'll show up or not on any particular day, but make sure you check every day to see if there's a man wearing a green and a hat by the counter inside the pizza place, as well as a guy on a dirt bike parked outside the pizza place by the street. If they're there, you can interact with the guy inside the pizza place for the Grando Smokio trophy and the dirt bike guy outside for the motorcyclist trophy. Either way, after checking those, head into the last store in that mall, the general store. Talk to the guy at the counter and go ahead and buy the pair of pliers. He'll also mention wanting to buy books. As far as I know, there's only two, one on a picnic table at the park, and the other requires you to buy the shovel and dig up a spot in the park. So if you feel the need for more money, you can do that, but it's not necessary. Once you've got the pliers, head back to the church through the alleyway we took to find the kid's soccer ball. Once you're there, equip the pliers and open up the entrance to the church. Head inside and speak to the man sitting in the pews to the left. And when you finish his dialogue, you'll unlock the what? Trophy. Head back towards the street with the supermarket and shopping mall on it and use the bus stop to head home. On the room divider, you'll find a piece of paper with a pencil on it, and that's where you'll save your game. Go ahead and save, and then head back out your front door. You'll end up back at the bus stop, and now you want to head on into the club. Talk to the guy by the dance floor, and this is where we start our three-day trophy, A Great Dancer. It's a DDR-type rhythm minigame. On the first day, you have to hit 10,000. On the second, it's 15,000. And the third, it's 20,000 points. But the songs are different each day, and I got through all three without failing a single day. If you do, that's why we made the save, so just reload if you have to. Once you're done with that, head over to the bartender and grab a big beer. Once you've got it, you're going to head around the corner and down the street to the police station. Once you're inside, head to the first door you can see, open it up, and you'll find you're in the area with cells. Interact with the big guy, and you'll hand over the beer, get a payday of 25 bucks, and unlock the Supporting Bad Habits trophy. Now, head back to your apartment, interact with the bed, and call it a day. Head to work, get through your shift while interacting with a few weird characters, and head back towards the bus station, checking the pizza shop and the area outside for Big Smoke and the motorcyclist, respectively. There, you'll find Maria again. Interact with her, choosing the left options again. Make a save at your apartment, then come back outside to do the second part of the DDR minigame inside the club. Once you're done with that, head back over to the fenced-in court area where the kid was. You'll find a soccer ball on the ground. Pick it up and throw it into the goal for the La Mano de Dios trophy. It's a little finicky, so it might take a few tries. Next up, head back to the park to find there's a protest going on there with a news crew covering it. Talk to the reporter and go through her dialogue to unlock the live trophy. You can head on home now. Once you're back home, check how much money you've got. If you've got 150, buy the living room set to unlock the Time for Reforms trophy. 
then head over and interact with the TV you just bought to unlock the Flopa trophy. From there, you can head to bed and start your third day. Head on over to the supermarket to start your day. You'll find that the fair has been opened. Daniel will be inside for your second interaction, so again, pick the left dialogue choices to be nice to him. During your shift, a woman in a red and black dress will come in and be a total jerk to you. This is Helena, and you want to pick the right dialogue options for her. Eventually, Maria will enter the store and tell you she needs to hide out inside for a while. As soon as she's there, head outside and into the parking lot to find the Korean man from before standing out there watching the store. Interact with him, go through his dialogue, and you'll unlock the suspect trophy. All that's left now is to make your just-in-case save and head into the club for the third and final DDR challenge. Once you finish it, you'll unlock the A Great Dancer trophy, and you never have to play that again. You can head home and finish up your day now and head into the fourth day. As soon as you start, you'll find Maria sitting at the bus stop. Interact with her, and she'll give you the 20 bucks you gave her back. Stick with the left dialogue options, then head to the supermarket to start your day, where you'll find homeless man hanging out by the front door. Interact with him, sticking with the left dialogue options again, and give him $2 to unlock the An Understanding Person trophy. Once inside, you'll find Daniel sitting on one of the chairs by the door. Interact with him, picking the left choices again, and he'll ask you to go to the park to talk to him. Mateo, the kid in the red outfit, will talk to you again. Pick the left dialogue choices here. Once you're done with your day, head all the way around and back to where you saw the fair closed at the beginning of the game. Head inside and pick a game to play. It's three bucks to play around, and you only have to get to 500 points. It's cumulative, so you can take as many rounds as you need. Once you've got over 500 points, talk to the fair worker running the game and choose to redeem points, unlocking the best of the fair trophy and making back 15 bucks. Head on over to the park to find Daniel on the swing set. Interact with him and pick the left, then right, then left dialogue choices to unlock the tragedy averted trophy. Head home and call it a night and start day five. Head over to the supermarket to start your day. The manager will ask about the Korean man. You'll find a note from Daniel telling you about a key to the condominiums, and Mateo will ask you to meet up with him on the roof of the club. Once you're done with your day at the supermarket, head over to the club and head up the stairs to find Mateo on a couch. Interact with him, choosing the left dialogues every time. Next, head over to the police station and head to the cell area. You'll find Helena there. Interact with her to unlock the crazy trophy. From there, head home, finish your day, and head into day six. Get through your day at the supermarket as normal, and now we'll get ready for the endings. Head to the bus stop to find both Daniel and Mateo waiting for you. Ignore them, head home, and make a save. This is where we'll save scum to save us from having to do three different playthroughs. If you don't know how to do that on a PS5, I'll show you how to do it here. So you do need PlayStation Plus to be able to do this on a PS5. On a PS4, it's very similar, but you can use a USB stick on a PS4 if you don't have PlayStation Plus. After you make the save, head back to the main menu of your console and head into Settings. Scroll down to Save Data and Game App Settings and open that. Go into either Save Data PS5 or PS4, depending on which version of the game you're using and go to Upload or Delete from Console Storage. Let that load, select Terminal 81, and go right to Upload. Click that, hit Yes, Yes again, and Yes one more time. This will close Terminal 81 and turn off Autosave for it. But we don't need it turned on since we'll be using the save to get all three of the endings. Once that's done, open Terminal 81 back up, load your game, and you'll be back in your apartment where you saved. Head back outside, and we're going to go with the Mateo ending first. Interact with him, choose to go, and interact with the man behind the desk to your left. Pick whichever dialogue you want to unlock the Too Naive trophy. After a short cutscene, you'll find yourself in a cell. This is the final part of the game, your escape from the person doing the kidnappings. It was the manager all along. 
This escape part will be in every single ending, so by the third one, you'll be used to it. The manager will be around and will try to whack you with his club thing, but as far as I could tell, it didn't matter how many times I got hit, I couldn't die. This area is sort of a puzzle with the same steps every time. The only real difference is that the placement of the items you need will change. Your first step is to grab the rock that's inside your cell and bash open the piece of metal in the bottom left of the cell door, allowing you to escape the cell. Once you get out, immediately to your left, you'll find another cell, and inside is your old pal, Helena. Interact with her and tell her that you'll help her and find the keys to get her out. There's actually two different trophies concerning this, one to save her and one to leave her, so we'll save her for this first ending. After speaking to her, head into the hallway ahead of the cell you came out of and take a quick left into a larger room full of tables. Right in front of you should be a letter on a table, and when you interact with it, you'll unlock the Hong Kong Letters Trophy. Now, as I said before, all of the items required to escape are randomly placed, but you will find them in the same general order. In the first area, you need to find a single old key, as well as a can of diesel fuel. The items will have a glinting shine to them, so try to look out for that. Once you've got the key, head into the area that's like a cafeteria to open up the door with the old key and head into the next area. From here, use the can of oil on the back of the forklift, then interact with it to have it move forward. In this second area, you're going to have to find the ring of keys required to open the cell Helena is in, as well as a crowbar. Once you find the keys, head back to the beginning and use the keys on Helena to unlock the A Good Heart trophy. From there, you have to find the children's area within the first set of rooms you were in. Towards the back of the room, you'll find three boards across a gap in the wall, and this is where you'll use the crowbar. Once you've got those out of the way, head inside and grab the valve on the table to the left. Valve in hand, head back to where the forklift was, heading forward until you find an elevator door and a pipe on the wall. Use the valve on the pipe, open the elevator door, and interact with the elevator door to escape. Run forward towards the park, fade to black, and you'll get the epilogue and unlock the second neutral ending trophy. All right, now that you've got that out of the way, I'm going to show you how to download your saved game back to your console so you can get the other two endings without having to play the game all over again. Head back into your settings and head back down to Save Data and Game App Settings. This time, go to Download or Delete from Cloud Storage. Make sure that you're in the Download to Console Storage and not the Delete tab. Select Terminal 81 and go right to Download. Same deal, hit yes a few times and then reopen Terminal 81, load up your game, and head back to the bus stop. This time, interact with Daniel to head to his apartment. Once inside, talk to him for a quick dialogue, then head left into his room to find some anime posters on his wall. Interact with the pink-haired one over his computer a few times to unlock the Man of Culture trophy then head back outside. From the bus stop, head towards the police station, and across the street are the condominiums. Interact with the door to head inside. You'll start at the elevator door, head in the direction of where the forklift would be, and on your left will be a bluish door. Interact with that, head inside, and you'll see a folder with a glint to it in the back center of the room. Interact with the folder a few times, and you'll get ambushed. From here, you'll have another quick set of dialogue with the manager, and then you'll get put back into the cell, and we'll have to do the escape again. This time, instead of helping Helena, don't speak to her at all. Just go ahead with the escape as normal, ignoring the ring of keys, and exit like you did the first time through. Upon exiting, you'll unlock the Beat It Chick trophy, and when the epilogue plays, you'll unlock the Good Ending trophy. Do our save trick again, and this time when you load in, just head to bed and continue as though nothing special is happening. Head to work the next day, and you'll find that something is off. Nobody is coming into the store. Walk around a bit inside the store, and eventually the lights will cut out, and you'll be locked inside, where the manager will ambush you. Same deal as before, you'll get a cutscene with some dialogue from the manager, you'll have to escape again, you can ignore Helena again, 
And when you finally escape and get the epilogue for the third and final time, you'll unlock the last trophy, the neutral ending, and the platinum. This is a much longer than normal trophy guide, but I know when I was playing through, there wasn't much in the way of help that I could find for the trophies, so hopefully this helped. That'll do it for me, though, everybody. If you plan on getting this one, leave a like, subscribe for more, and comment down below which number platinum this was for you. This is number 925 for me. Thank you.